1065, and Guillaume is marching west to deal with the last threat to his duchy, the Duke of Brittany Conan II. Chateau de Dinan was a formidable fortress and would need an impressive army to siege its walls and bring down the keep. Guillaume entrusted the raising of such an army to his wife, Mathilde de Flandre, Duchess of Normandy. First, Mathilde would need to gather resources, a job for her loyal villagers. Escolto. Resources were essential in constructing buildings and producing units, and could be found all across the land. But Mathilde knew the most important resource to begin gathering was food. What? Vacas. Food was key in recruiting villagers and military units. More villagers would be required if she was to raise a large army. To do this, she turned to her town center, an important landmark where new villagers could be recruited. Villagers could also construct a variety of military and economic buildings. Some of these buildings were used to make resource gathering more efficient, such as the mill. Next was wood, a key resource in the construction of many buildings and essential to the success of any town. Mathilde constructed a lumber camp close to a forest, a good source of wood. With a healthy supply of food, the village could start to grow. To do so, it would need more hands to share the work. The town could no longer grow without additional homes. Mathilde ordered her villagers to construct new houses to accommodate the growing population. Parats. 
further growth required knowing the countryside and finding more resources. For that, communities employed scouts. Seco. Ensala. Cavallo. Able to move quickly and see great distances, scouts were key to discovering new resources. It was time for Mathilde to begin gathering the resource that ruled the known world, gold. Fortunately, a gold vein could be found nearby, and Mathilde set her villagers to work mining it. With her food supply running low, Mathilde constructed farms to replace the depleted berry bushes. They would provide a constant supply of food. Ubi vado. Like all great leaders, Mathilde made expert use of local government. They aided her in organizing the villagers and assigned them roles within the settlement. Matilde's small town was now thriving. 
and ready to progress to the next age of prosperity. To mark the occasion and celebrate her villagers, Mathilde ordered the construction of a landmark. Ascolto. Ma sono. Ascolto. Mmm. Laburo. Capo. Landmarks allowed a settlement to grow, granting access to more complex buildings and veteran units. grown from just a handful of villagers to a fully established settlement. Mathilde had erected a landmark, announcing to the land that this town was a blossoming settlement. It was the perfect platform from which to forge an army and launch a siege on Conan's castle. 